e wo ni oba meji ogbudo je ni ilu kan Okay, 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 Go <laughs> But when will some men learn that the sex of the child is not determined by the woman? When will people accept that having a baby girl is also a blessing from God? When has it become a crime to be born a woman? In many parts of Africa, not to have a son still remains a very serious matter with grave consequences. Welcome to Africa, our Africa.
Hello? Who is this? My name is Randy. Please. I need you to forgive me. I... Randy, I've told you several times. Stop calling this number. You kept using different lines to call my number. Why are you stalking me? You are in my past and you remain in my past. Do you understand it? Hello? Hello? Say what? Wow. This is beautiful. Tara, I never knew a Nigerian designer could come up with something as gorgeous as this. This is wonderful. Told you, Mom. Frankie's couture is on point. You're the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is wonderful. You are very gorgeous. Dad! Yeah. The dress is there. Oh, which dress? My dress! Ooh! Hey, this is wonderful. Well done. And I was skeptical when uh, you said what did it sold in Nigeria. This is great. It's beautiful. I hope you like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> oh, mom. This is nice. This is wonderful. With a jacket. Oh, no, 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 no. And this a bear. But I hope this will not uh, expose your privilege. Yeah, I've always been a decent girl. Come on, I'm proud of your product. I just have mm. now. <laughs> you guys have now had this. By the time they get to the church, on their wedding day, they become something else. Mom, help me out of that. I'm a royal princess. A chosen generation. A new creature. And I've not forgotten Dad's lecture on dressing. Letter from my father. 001. The primary purpose of dressing is first cover nakedness and the secondary purpose is for fashion. Mm, that's my girl. You got it, baby. <laughs> I just came up from the doctor's office. And I told you from the beginning. I told you from the beginning that I'm AS. And I cannot marry an AS. Do you know come the result of the genotype test is AS? Listen to me. This wedding cannot owe. I cannot marry an AS. And you, Tara, you are AS. You are AS, Tara. You are AS. Is that why he's calling off the wedding? That is not possible. Your mom is AA, I am AA, and that you know. So how can you be AS? You are our only child, you know that. That cannot be possible. I know that. That's why I didn't bother to do my genotype test. What are we going to do? The test says I'm AS. Sarah, darling, don't worry. We will have a rerun of the test at the teaching hospital and we will tell Richard about it, okay? Exactly. It must be an error. How can the two of us be AA and you come out to be AS? That is not possible. Eh? Tara, don't worry. We will do a rerun when we get to the hospital.
quite well that your genotype is AS. And you told me you lied to me. How could you? How could you? I can't take this any longer. My dad's genotype is AA and my mom's too. Can you hear yourself? Can you hear yourself, baby girl? I am a medical doctor and I've practiced for two good years. What you're saying is unlikely. It's like someone doesn't know what we're talking about here. The genotype is a set of genes in our DNA. It is the genetic constitution of any individual organism. It is the sum total of the gene transmitted from your parent to you as your spring. So it is unlikely for your dad and mom to be AA and you AS. No! So, so what are you insinuating? Go ask your mother! Go ask your mother! For this event, we'll be doing a favorite hymn titled God Give Us Christian Hope. <laughs> Alright, so we go this way. Da 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 Any young man. Dream? Dream, you say? Dream my foot. She has broken the trust I have for her. If she can lie to me about a hemoglobin genotype, that means that there's nothing she can't lie to me about. Huh. 
See, I don't want to die young. I'm calling off the wedding, period. Oh, girl. Have you told your parents about this? Abi? Kini tu mo eje ti o bara mo do pa. Eh? Hey. Hmm. Ya deji. Ya deji. Ba mo re soro. Ba soro ni bi ti o ti gbo. Gugu awon ota. Ti won pe jopo. Ti won fi akekori. Pe a o ni se igbeyawo yi. O giri alapa. Ko ma wo lu won pa. O giri alapa. Ma wo lu won pa. Ah. Eh, gbogbo kun ni o ba mi se. Eleda mi, gbogbo kun ni o ba mi se o. Mama se ko ku. Mummy, mummy. Ah, mummy ewo. Mummy ewo. Oro ta ko le leyi o. Daddy ani genotype wa o bara dogba eje wa. Genotype wa. Ko bara dogba a o le fera wa. Ah. Ibi aye ba mi dere, ibi aye ba mi dere, ibi aye ba mi dere, oh, oh luwa, ah unsoro, ba mo yi, ah, afigba ti mo papa mu yo mo yi po, eh? Hello, Uncle. Greetings. Greetings, Ricky. Ricardo. You know, I just bought my ticket to Nigeria a few minutes ago. Uncle, I actually just want to... I know, I know. Wait. I will credit your account before end of the day, okay? I know planning for a wedding is not easy. I've been there before. And, uh, Richard, you need to see what my wife bought for Tara. <laughs> you wouldn't believe. It's like buying the whole of America. In fact, we are coming, we are bringing the whole of America to Nigeria. Magba. Magba. Uncle, I'm, I'm sorry. The wedding has been cancelled. What? You can't do that. I'm not interested anymore. Oh my God. Richard, this is the devil at work. No, no, I am not interested anymore. You're kidding me, right? Tara can't be my wife. Stop this joke. Uh -huh. Richard, 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 calling off the wedding cake. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Richard, this is the devil at work. Stop this joke. I did my best when I had the chance. You can't I do didn't that. Know the life was such a misery. What Uncle, I'm I'm sorry. What the wedding has been cancelled. Darling, I want to ask you a question. And I want you to look straight into my eyes and give me an answer. Adeshewa, you are the wife of my youth. And I've loved you with all my life. And I still do. We have done our genotype, both within Nigeria and outside Nigeria. And we both know it is A A. Hmm. I swear to God, I am ready to forgive you if there is anything you may have done that you have not told me. Benga, I don't understand what you're talking about. What do you mean? 
What are you insinuating? Adeshewa, I beg you in the name of God. Please, open up to me. Mega, are you saying I defy about to go bed? Are you telling me that I went into her not are you saying that I don't ever slept with me? <laughs> my God! I did my best when I had the chance. I didn't know the life was such a misery. What can I do? What more can I say? When nobody believes me, Ooh, it's like I'm going insane. Oh, I'm so lonely. My heart is broken. I wish I had wings and I would fly away. I'm not in with you. Find no one like you, my love. Uh, my love oh, for you is fatal. I love you. I want you. I want you to be by my side. Oh, I can't live, uh, uh. Sorry, darling. I guess we may just have to settle for a DNA test. So, where is Tara now? Pastor, Tara left the house this morning, leaving a note behind that we should not bother to look for her, but that she will return after we have sorted ourselves out. She's my holy daughter. Please kindly help me, Pastor. 
Tapi Your husband insists on DNA. He said that would be the only proof that he's the father of time. Hmm. Mrs. Cole. Pastor. Is there something you are not telling us? Pastor, you have known me for a long time now. I joined this church long ago. I have been faithful to the Lord. I have not gone aside from my husband to any other man. And you know it. Pastor, please help me. Help me, please, Pastor. Help me, help my home. Pastor, please help me. Pastor, help me, please, help me. There is salt before me. <clears throat> like I said, there is salt before me. Mr. Cole, the doctor said I should tell you that you can now come for the result of the DNA test. The DNA research arrived this morning from South Africa. Adishewa. Why don't you want to tell your husband the truth? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> of course you know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, Mr. Cole. Tara is not your biology. You can show this yourself. Let him know that he is not the father of Tara. You are insane. You must be insane. <laughs> really? Am I insane? Well, if you are not going to tell him the truth, I think I will help you do that. I'll tell him myself. Get out of my house. Get out to now. Hello, Mrs. Cole. 
I'm sorry for all I did to you. Adeshewa, and the pain I have caused your family. All I'm asking for is to forgive me. I'm a new man now. Adeshewa, please, forgive me. Hello? Adeshewa? Hello? Hello? I can't believe this. I used the true color on the number, and the name that came up was uh, Randy. Randy? Who is Randy? Excuse me. Hello? Hello, sir. Yeah? Who is this? My name is Randy. Randy? Yes. Is this Pastor Adams of Revival Plains Mission, uh, Mrs. Adeshewa Cole's church? Yes. I am the pastor of Mrs. Adeshewa Cole. How may I help you? I have a confession to make to you, sir. A confession? Good morning, Mrs. Cole. How are you doing this morning? What is the Lord saying about this matter now? What is the Lord saying? Yes. Okay. Open your Bible to Hebrews. I want all of you to open. Hebrews. <coughs> chapter. I'm coming. Hebrews chapter 13. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Listen. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But all mongers and adulterers, God will judge. Hmm. This hmm. is what God is saying. Mrs. Cole has committed adultery, and the judgment of God is already upon her. Can't you see? Can't you see? <laughs> I even heard from a reliable source that currently she's in the hospital. Huh? Mm. Mm. This is the case of Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 18. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> he that did get a bit shall fall into it. Mm. And he that break the edge, the serpent will bite. <laughs> Mrs. Cole has broken the edge. Okay. And the serpent is biting. Chai! I still feel we should visit her in the hospital. Huh? Yeah. And show some love. <laughs> and equally pray for her. Hey, that's Come, come, come. This is too. Pray for who? <laughs> An atrocious woman. Someone that is under the punishment of God. Anyway, Sha, if you want the wrath of God upon yourself and the church, you can go. Only other than that. Go. Visit. We actually came to see our friend Mrs. Cole to see how she's faring and to see if she'll be needing any other thing apart from the initial deposit we've made. For now, she won't be needing anything and she's actually fine. But um, you won't be able to see her now because she's currently resting. Yes, and due to what happened, she suffered from a brief psychotic disorder with the stress off. Yes, um, but she's actually stable, no need to worry. But currently, she's actually responding to therapy sessions and uh, she's under observation for now. In a month, uh, she should come to a very stable place. Okay. Yes, yeah. thank God. So by the weekend, um, I'm optimistic she will be discharged. Thank, thank you so, so much, much, Doctor. You're welcome, my brother. I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> We also brought some things for her, yeah. okay. uh, like change of dress and some other stuffs. Okay. So we promise to take very good care yeah, of her. We will try our best. Okay. Then. Doctor, please. By the way, <laughs> your face looks familiar. Yeah. Oh, oh really? <laughs> Did you school at Adwekiti? I was actually born at Adwekiti. Yeah, but I got my first and second degree at Ibadan. Oh. Yes, and I got uh, my PhD in clinical psychology in England. Oh. That's quite wow, impressive. That's interesting. Uh, uh, meaning, uh, we have to see privately. Oh, awesome, awesome. Because my daughter insists she wants to study clinical psychology. Awesome, uh, I don't even know where she got that from. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> it is your daughter. Yeah. I think we should be on our way home now. <laughs> yeah, you meant a mystery, you know, our fathers and their daughters. There's this bond and attachment. Tell her. Tell her. <laughs> But I'd actually like to meet her on a one-on-one -on -one basis. You can be sure when we come back here, she's coming with us. Okay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much, Dr. God bless you. Brother Stanley. Yes, sir. See, I'm telling you all this. Yes, sir. Because you are the leader of the prayer warriors. Yes, sir. Mrs. Adeshewako has refused to confess her sin of adultery. Mm. Mm. You see? And the Bible says in the book of Proverbs. Yes, sir. That he... That covereth his sins shall not prosper. Very good. Yes, sir. And he that confesseth and forsaketh them shall obtain mercy. Exactly. Yes. So we're going to pray yes, sir. that the power of God mm. will come upon Mrs. Adeshawako to Dali confess Dali. her sins. Amen. So that all these terrible things that are happening to her can stop. Yes, sir. Let us pray. Brother, let, let us pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's I'm glad you're recovering very fast, Mrs. Cole. Thank you, Doctor. And um, I must say, your story is quite touching and mysterious. But can I ask you a question? Yes, Doctor, go ahead. Is there something about you that you've not told your husband? Oh, 
Who was that? Mrs. Cole? Yes, doctor. Yes? Yes. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, Pastor. No, no, no. Get up. Please stand up. No, man of God. I prefer to stay like this, please. Ah. Who are you? I am Randy. Randy? Yes. I put a call through to you some days back that I have a confession to make. Yeah, I remember. I was the leader of the snipers gang that used to terrorize this community some years back. Randy? Wait, you mean Randy the Beast? <sighs> this Randy is a new man. But um, your pictures that we used to see then in televisions, you were always on dreadlocks. So what has changed, Mr. Randy? Yes, like I told you. This Randy is a new man. Wow. I met with Christ and I gave my life to him when Evangelist Ray Bonke came to Nigeria some two years ago. <sighs> it was a miraculous encounter. The man of God, I mean uh, Evangelist Bonke, personally prayed for me. Well, I thank God for your life. But uh, if I may ask, why are you telling me all this? He came into our building then with his gang of about five men. I told you never to look at me. No one looks at Randy and stay alive. I'm the holy child of my parents. <laughs> yes, I I recognize her. I even took a plug from the wall. But I don't think she she knows me. Run in the beach! The beast has been calling me for over one year with different numbers, claiming he has been born again, that I should forgive him. Can you imagine that? Hmm. But why did you not tell your husband all about this? Because I don't like to remember the story. I also don't like to talk about it. I told my husband when we were caught him that my parents died in an accident. Doc. Was it not an accident? <sighs> Mr. Randy, is that all? Yes, sir. If I may ask, did you have any relationship with her after the incident? Relationship? What kind of relationship? <laughs> 
well, well, um, never mind, never mind. Mr. Randy. Yes, Pastor. I'm sorry if, uh, if this may embarrass you, but uh, can I ask you a very personal question? Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm only us. Just go ahead. Um, Mr. Randy. Yes, Pastor. Do you know your genotype? My genotype? Yeah. Oh, 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 well, um, I'm a, I'm a, yes, I'm a, yes. Why did you ask? Uh, Pastor, this is a very unusual question. And nobody has ever asked me about my genotype before now. Why? does not take away the pain. It only transfers it to another person. Besides, that is not the end of life, but just a change of location. Suicide is mother and it qualifies you for hell in eternity. Why don't you cast your care upon the Lord? He cares for you. If you believe, it will surely end in praise. End the damn life. Life has no meaning. When the most trusted person betrays you, you trusted your wife with everything. But she was busy sleeping with another man. She has made you less than a man. Even Tara that you love so much is not your daughter after all. Where will you begin from? Cast God and die. Iku Oyajue Silo. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it! Don't do it! I don't even know how and what to pray. But God, please help my soul. Am I losing everything just like that? How can Tara not be my daughter? A girl I carried in my arms and prayed for when she was born 26 years ago. I still can't figure out that my wife cheated on me just after her marriage. I met her a virgin, so it must be after we got married. What could she be looking for in another man? Have I failed in my responsibilities as a husband? God, this is too much. Help me. So, when are you going back home? Whoa! 
home. I don't have a home. But I really. But what? Actually, just thinking. Um. Cold. Cold. Randy, the beast, be your father truly. Please, please, please don't go there. It's so traumatic to even think about. It is actually traumatic to think about it. Oh, girl. So you mean the same Randy was her mother's boyfriend? Ah, ah. We men. We men. Kai. Open your lung. Ah, ah. From my informant, I heard that he was dating Tara's mom before she got married to Mr. Cole. <laughs> you know I'm a medical doctor? Yes. And I know how those things work. It is very much unlikely that Mr. and Mrs. Cole will be AA and Tara will be AS. Quote me. Sure. You said that the genotype result shows that Tara is AS. Then Randy must be AS too. Because mathematically, biologically, and then Sustically speaking. For <laughs> <laughs> <But> the <laughs> Mr. Randy is the father of Tara. That means Tara is not Miss Tara Cole, but she is Miss Tara Randy. Mm. Tara Randy, Randy, Tara Randy, Randy, Tara. Wow. You can say that again. That sounds nice. Kai. <laughs> Say that again. But um, um, I actually just feel for Mr. Cole, you know, the poor man. He's been nursing her from, from birth. Kai, we may, we may. So, what next now? Ah, Aribat, Tiwaju Bashinlo, and Yasha Sheikh Badasi. Rich or Mobrukuni. That's how it is, oh, God. I'm a <laughs> Hello, baby. Hello, sweetheart. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Just to let you know, I'm missing you. She says she's missing me. <laughs> Who is that? Rosalind, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love you too. I always love you. Oh, I love you, baby. <laughs> Just like that, you don't quickly switch. Uh. Darling, I've been asking her a series of questions lately. And I think she's the one. Seriously? No doubt, because the picture my mom gave me mm. and her face, striking resemblance. Wow. <laughs> this is a very serious matter. Very emotional, very serious. So, what are you going to do next? I'd have to tell her today. You know? <laughs> tell her. I'll have to tell her today. Okay, can you do that alone or should I follow you? You're more more. Really? <laughs> Drama queen. <laughs> I've got this under control. Apparently, I'm actually getting used to her and she's my friend. So I shouldn't have a problem. Okay, the Lord will lead you. I'm in a hurry. Can of you course. get my bag? Okay. All right, thank you very much. All right. Bye. Oh, um, you told me so much about you. Yes. And um, I'd like to tell you some things about me that concerns you. Something that concerns you? Yes, ma'am. About me? Yes. Well, I'm all here. Um, apparently, you mentioned um, Tara was born on the 14th of November, World Sexual Purity Day, right? Yes. You said by this year, November, Tara will turn 27, right? Right. By this November, I'll be turning 27 myself on the 14th of November. Oh, so you are the same day with my Tara Lua code? Yes, same hospital too. Um, let me ask you, you had your baby through cesarean session, right? Yes. How did you know all this about me? She told me. Who told you?
Dale. Please. Can you find a place in your heart to forgive me? I know I've really hurt you. Please forgive me. Forgive me, please. I beg of you, please forgive me. Find a soft place in your heart. And forgive me. Let us start all over again. And I promise you, I will always love you. Please. I don't know why God has allowed this to happen. I and my wife, sorry, I and your mother have discussed this issue extensively and we have come to the conclusion that, look, you remain with us. Nothing has changed. So you still remain Tarako until you find a man who will take you and change your name, huh? Hmm? Are you okay with that? I am so disappointed in you. But this is not what I taught you. So where did you learn this strange religion that is devoid of the love of Christ? Tell me. Even if she had committed adultery, is it proper? Is it right to treat a wounded member of your flock that way? No! No, no, no! That's not right! You abandoned her when she needed you most as her pastor. At the At the But remember, even you yourself, didn't you fall into the sin of adultery? Yes, you did. And your wife was so gracious to have forgiven you. Have you forgotten so soon? How did you become this mean and callous to an innocent child of God, Ademola? Couldn't you have prayed? and ask the Holy Spirit for, for direction? You have to go and ask God for mercy. And I pray the Lord will have mercy on you. Listen, son. Whatever you do outside of the love of Jesus is no Christianity. Whatever you do outside of the Lord of Jesus is no Christianity. No Christianity.
whatever you do outside of the law of Jesus is no Christianity. Sorry, Mrs. Cole. I failed you as your pastor. I I did not wait on God to really know what the problem was. Um, I concluded wrongly. And uh, please, I need you to forgive me. What are you doing here? I told you I don't want to see you well. Get out. Get out of my house now. Mrs. Cole, you know what? Uh, at some points in our lives, we all, we all needed forgiveness. And God forgive us all without holding back. Please, I need you to forgive me. Well, uh, Randy and I actually came together. I, I told him to stay in the car until I flash. I need you to forgive me. Randy. Randy. Yes, Pastor. Adeshawa, I am sorry. It all happened at St. Cronin's Hospital. I lost my dad when I was barely one year. And um, I lost my mom two years ago to cancer. Hey, yeah. We share a lot of things in common. She was the pride from watching my infant head grow. Oh, a nice land. On my cradle bed, I didn't know my son. The lies that men told stole me away from your warm kiss and your embrace. For the one who's in heaven, he turned the hands of time. He brought her back to me. He brought her back to me He brought you back to me He brought you back to me How great is our God He brought you back to me My mama He brought you back to me He brought you back to me he brought you back to me. How great is our God? How great is our God? Doctor, I don't understand all this. Mother. Doctor, I'm Mrs. Hadishewa Kohn, for your information. True. But you're also my biological mother. Doctor, stop this joke. How could I have given birth to a baby boy? And I didn't know. This is what happened that day. 
November 14th. My mom told me that um, she had four daughters with my father before I was born. And from the part of the country where my father comes from, his family put him under pressure and uh, kept demanding for a male child. Let me also remind you that a woman that does not have a male child is not yet a wife. Oh. <laughs> okay. And you have succeeded in making me a laughing stock among my people. Among me. That put the same pressure on my mom. And this led to adverse maltreatment. Um, my mom was not properly taken care of um, throughout her pregnancy um, phase. My dad went as far as <laughs> taking her things to the hospital when she was about to deliver. For your information, your load is already in the boot and I will drop it with you in the hospital. If you don't give birth to a son, don't just bother to call me. And he threatened her not to come back home if she had a female child. And all of this put my mother into a lot of depression and sadness. And she left with the nurse on duty and um, told her if she had a female child, um, the nurse was to swap the female child for a male child. The deal was to swap her baby with a male child. And she gave birth to a female child. And the baby was swapped without the other woman knowing. Hmm. You were that woman, Mrs. Cole. Your baby was taken away from you immediately after your caesarean session. My mother, her heart has never left her daughter. She arranged for your picture and her babies to be taken before she left the hospital that day without your consent. When she gave her life to Christ, she couldn't bear the guilt anymore and she confessed to me. She pleaded with me passionately to look for her daughter and to apologize to you. She gave me this picture. I remember this picture and the hospital 27 years ago. I remember the dress. I remember Every morning for the past two years, my wife and I would kneel down and pray passionately to God to bring my sister, my mom, to us. And you're coming here as an answer to prayers. I really send the hand of God in all of this.
Oh, my Lord. 